Welcome to the YouTube channel of Aquipus Taupo. We believe that 2020 is going to be the year of overflow, so we pray you are blessed by this message. So what we're going to do is read from James 1, 2 to 4. And Carl kind of did touch on it with the joy. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Count it all joy. That's interesting when you have to meet trials of many kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Oh, isn't that a powerful scripture? For me, that's, it. that's victory right there. But in those moments, do we actually feel joyful? No, no way. There's, there's something in us that's saying, oh, I don't know, I, I don't know if I, sometimes I don't want to sing the happy, clappy songs when I'm in a mood, you know? <laughs> if I'm moody, sometimes I just don't want to sing those songs. But the moment I sing them, my whole body starts to change. And then therefore, I start to have joy in my world. And yes, I, I, I love those songs, don't get me wrong. You can see me always dancing. But sometimes my, my mind's telling me, oh, do I really want to sing? Nothing's going to steal my joy. <laughs> but I, I love that song. Just, I'm just using that as an example. <laughs> but you know what? When I say nothing's going to steal my joy, something begins to take place in my spirit because nothing is going to steal my joy. Because why? I have a Father who loves me. And He is good. He is good all the time. Um, there's a song that I, I, I loved singing um, when I first became a Christian. And we start, used to sing a lot of, um, what are they? Gospel songs. And um, I said, what is that? Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. All these little songs. And they stuck with me. And if it was, you know, in those times where I felt like I was at the bottom, those songs didn't necessarily sing in my head, but in my spirit those songs were there. And so I would have these little reminders that nothing's going to steal my joy and that, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, because I'm going to turn to him in everything that I do. And so are you living a life in victory or are you living defeated? Because a lot of us can live in a I'm defeated But we are victorious. And I'm not saying that um, we, we won't go through trials. I'm not saying that things won't be painful because those things are real and those things are there. And I don't want to neglect that those things happen to us and, and, and things do, do hurt. But what I'm wanting to encourage you is are we living from a place of victory because when we do face those moments, we can say, look, I am victorious because God is living and breathing in my life. And he is victorious. He's already won the battle. He's already won the battle. And it's us that we're going to come in and we're going to step into that and know that he is with us in those battles. So I want to encourage you this morning, attack those places with victory with a mindset of victory, because, you know, when, when those things do happen, we're going to stop, and the momentum isn't going to carry on. But when we have our faith behind us, it will make it easier for us to keep moving forward, because when our faith is there, we'll take one more step forward. Although we feel like our steps have gone way backwards, we are moving forward because our faith is strong. John 16.33, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. I have said these things to you. Isn't it funny because we do say these things, right? When everything's going good, we're like, yeah, God's good, woo. Loving life, it's awesome, we're doing good, all this stuff. And then something hits us and we're like, ugh. <laughs> and then some, sometimes we don't, re we don't remember, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. And so uh, maybe you don't know how to pay the bills the next day. 
Maybe you're struggling to, to feed your family the next day. You may have peace. You may have peace. All right. So Romans 8.28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. And so when I read that scripture, I'm not saying that everything's going to be good. But everything is going to be good. So don't hear, hear, don't hear what I'm not saying, hear what I am saying. Everything, for those who love God, all things work together for good. For good. And although our situations, you may be feeling like you are deflated. You may be feeling like things aren't going according to your plan. It's quite funny about plans because, you know, I had a plan. And sometimes plans didn't necessarily work out the way I wanted it to. Um, we were in Auckland. I was pretty settled with my two kids and hubby and just, you know, working and doing ministry. But um, then I, I remember this moment that me and Carl had a little word with each other and we were like, yeah, I don't think we'll ever want to become pastors. That looks like the worst job ever. <laughs> Because we were there supporting, we were supporting our um, pastor, pastor Matt on the North Shore, and we're like, man, he is so cool and so kind, but yet people still don't like him sometimes. And I'm like, what? What a stink job! <laughs> like, what a stink place to be that you feel like, you know, that there's this amazing person, and, and then sometimes you feel hurt for them. And I'm like, yeah, we're definitely not going to be pastors. Thank you, Pastor Sam, for sending us to the shore because we've decided we're not doing this. And then look, <laughs> and also I've got a third child as well. So I was pretty settled. I said, I'm not having any more kids. You can ask all my Auckland friends. They probably don't even know who I am now because <laughs> they know how strong I was with the whole, no, we're settled at two kids and that's it. And so I think they're all kind of laughing at us. Now, you know what? God's probably having a good giggle. He, pro <laughs> he probably was giggling while I was telling everybody my plans. So note to self, don't tell people your plans <laughs> because God's probably having a little, little, little laugh up there. Awesome. So um, sometimes for us in our lives, things are going to look distant, but he is good. His plans are good for us and they work for us. Um, so has anyone watched Rugby League? Hands up if you're a Rugby League fan. <gasps> Not many. Oh, I, I'm, that's probably the only game I actually watch. What about rugby fans? What about soccer? Yeah. Football, which is football. Yeah! <laughs> I think we all got our British, British uh, folk with the soccer. Um, actually, what do you call it? Football and football. What about gridiron? Does anyone know what gridiron is? It's an American football thing. Yeah, that one. Um, and so... In a game of league, when I when me and Carl, that was, became a ritual that we'd watch or the whole NRL for the day. Like, we don't just watch one team, we watch all of the teams. Um, we don't have Sky anymore, so we can't do that. Um, and so I loved what I used to watch. Um, you got these, these top teams, they're on the top of the ladder. And then there's something about those teams that when they step onto the field, there's power behind it because they've had a momentum of winning, right? And so they're like, yep, we're going to waste you. They've got this mentality of we are the best. And then you've got the teams that are sort of struggling at the bottom of the table. <laughs> you've got these warriors. No, I won't say that. Ooh, <laughs> I won't say that. We've got a warriors uh, supporter over here, Carl. Um, <laughs> so you've got these people at the bottom of the table. And the way that sometimes they do carry themselves... You're, they're either going to flight mode or fight mode. And for some of us, we can kind of relate to that. When we're winning at life, we've sort of got the life is on its, you know, we're, we're doing well. But then when we're sort of at the bottom, we're kind of just, uh, blah. how's your day? Man. <laughs> how's your life? Oh, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I'm not saying don't whinge because it's okay to whinge. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's okay to whinge because I always whinge, just saying. Um, I've, I've particularly had an uh, interesting couple of weeks um, where I've been up and then down and then up and then down. And then I said to Carl, I was like, why do I feel so down this week? And then I remembered, for some reason, every time, the week before I'm about to preach, 
I just get attacked. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, go away. <laughs> but I could have either made a choice to whinge about it, which I did, just being honest. I did. <laughs> I was moping around the house. <laughs> <laughs> moping the house, mopping the house, you know, <laughs> doing all these, mop, mop, whinging about certain things, and um, poor Carl, pray for him. <laughs> pray, Carl, but you know, Carl, you're awesome, I love you. <laughs> Just say in public display of affection, um, Carl is definitely a, a stronghold in our worlds, and I very, very much just feel very blessed to be his wife. Um, I don't say that often out loud, <laughs> but I'm going to say it now, Carl. You got it on recording. <laughs> It's recorded, so you can rewind and listen to it over and over if I'm in a mood. <laughs> Just go back to this or play it out loud on speakerphone. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to my point. So rugby league or league or whatever sports you think. Um, what, what, I, what I love watching is when the teams, on the other, whichever team it is, they get a try. Is it a try? Is that what it's called? Yeah, a try. <laughs> they get a try <laughs> and then... Something happens with their whole team. They all run together, and then they all jump on each other. <laughs> and, then, and then they've got, <laughs> and then they're cheering, right? They're cheering. They're like, yeah, right? And then the next game or the next round, when they've got the ball again, they tend to run harder and run faster because there's this confidence in them. And... Today, I want to encourage you to encourage each other. So this is our team, right? This is our team. Well, the body is our team. And we need to encourage each other. So why don't you turn to the next person, both sides, and just say something nice. Say something nice. Meet them. <laughs> say an encouraging word behind you, in front of you. Awesome. You are all wonderful people. <laughs> um, so winning teams, this is what winning teams look like. They're powerful. They're intimidating to others. Am I right? They're intimidating to others. They're strong and they celebrate. The other team, I'm just going to say the other team. I don't want to say any other word because I'm just going to speak life. <laughs> the other team, they're weaker. They, they look defeated, they're down, and they tend to give up. They tend to go running. I've seen someone do it before, and they're running, and they're trying to stop the person from getting a try, and then they go, oh, right when they're getting to the, that finish line. But then you see moments of victory where, where the winning team, I've seen it before, the winning team, they're running, and they run after that person, and they don't stop. Even if they're in the trial line, they're still running against the enemy. And so for us right now, don't give up. Carl did share that once. Don't give up. Because we are winners. We have God behind us. Our faith is strong. God is good. When you're feeling like you're losing the battle, God is with you. Hebrews 11.1 1. Now, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. So are you hoping? Are you stepping out in faith? Are you making decisions that go, actually, God, doesn't matter what my surroundings look like, doesn't matter what I'm going through, you are the hope of the world. And that's the truth. That's the gospel. That's what the word says. But yet our mind sometimes wants to take us backwards. But man, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. And like I said, Proverbs 18 says, there's power in the tongue. It's either life, it's either death. And it's okay to have bad days. Sometimes we feel like we have to put on our Christian face and our, and our Christian faith and we have to look good and we have to look sorted, all these things. But actually, we can, we can, feel, we can feel pain. Pain's, been, pain's put there for a reason. Pain is there so that we know something's not right. 
And sometimes some of us, our pain knocks us down. And have you guys heard that song, I get knocked down, but I get up again. But this song, (laughs) sometimes we might just have to stay down and stay on our knees and pray because I don't, that's not my one. I did hear it through another message. <laughs> but I thought, man, that's powerful. Actually, you know what? When I'm down, I'm on my knees and I'm praying to the Lord. And I'm praying to my Father because He is good. And I keep saying He is good because He is. And His plans are, and purposes are higher. And we don't even know. You know we don't even know what tomorrow holds. We think we do. We might have a plan. We might have a calendar. Oh, yeah, this is what the calendar is going to look like. But sometimes those plans will not go the same way that we thought in our minds. Hebrews 10.25, um, I wanted to say, uh, one of my, my other point was to celebrate each other. Hebrews 10.25, not giving up meeting each other as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. So like I said with that, that team of winning, when they get a try, they all jump around, they're all encouraged. Um, Micah, who plays rugby, he's our little sports fanatic. Um, when he's on the sideline, he hates being on the sideline, because he's just. but he, you can see him on the sideline and he's like this. <laughs> like he's still there. <laughs> he's still running with the team, even when they're on this end and then they're on that end. And when the team, his team wins, you can see him, he celebrates. And I'm like, man, some of us might be feeling like we're on the sideline, but are you celebrating the other person, the other team? Because sometimes we might need to do that, even if we don't get to play the game. We celebrate one another. We lift each other up because what do they do the next time? They run harder and they run faster. There's a boost. And so this morning, I just really wanted to encourage you in that way. Celebrate. Celebrate one another. Listen to one another. You know, the person next to you might be feeling low, might be feeling down. Celebrate them. Tell them that they are awesome and that they are called for a purpose. They might not want to hear that. <laughs> Let's be honest. I've had some encouraging words and I was like, I don't want to hear that. I just want you to tell me my life does suck. You know, <laughs> just tell me that. Tell me the truth. <laughs> but the truth actually is the fact that God is good. <laughs> and he, his plans are higher than mine and he is so strong in our lives and um, last week Brendan was talking about the religious spirits and oh man that, that was awesome such a good word and it's so true we can go about our lives we can go about this whole mindset of okay if we just, we're just going to turn up and do our thing and that's all we're going to do But man, our heart is never for you to um, feel like you're coming to a place where you have to be here or you're coming to a place where if, if, uh, you know, what is it? If you're feeling down or if you're feeling low, this is, I don't want people to think that to have a church faith-based relationship. And by that, I mean, it's good to encourage and it's good that we're here. It's good that we get to pray together and do life together and celebrate. But often we can just do that. And that's it. But what I want to point to is to have a God-faith relationship. Because people come and we go. But if our faith is in the people, then you're going to get let down. You're going to get let down. Because we're all human. We've all made mistakes. And we're all still deceptible. Or is it deceptible? I don't know if that's the word. Like I said, te reo. <laughs> um, we're all still, we can still get caught up in the wrong things. The enemy will still attack every one of us. But hold firm to God, to our Father, because He is good. Why don't you close your eyes this morning? Thank you, Lord. I thank you that you are kind, that you have a purpose, and that we can trust in you.
that our faith is in you, that your plans and your purposes are higher than ours. And God, you are our rangatira, you are our master, you are our Lord and Saviour. And God, we surrender to you. We surrender to you. And Lord, we live in victory because of you. Why don't you stand up this morning? We're going to sing a song again. And I think something's going to take place in this moment. Not to live a life feeling defeated, but living victorious because He is victorious. Because He is good. So why don't you, if you're comfortable, you can lift your hands. If sitting's your thing, that's cool too. But right now we surrender to you, Lord. Turn it for good. Take what the enemy meant for evil And you turn it for good You turn it for good You take You take what the enemy meant for evil And you turn it for good You turn it for good You take You take what the enemy Turn it for good. Singing it out this you morning. Turn it for good. Sing it again. You take, you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle. victory because the battle belongs to you and Lord as we give it to you as we surrender to you as we get on our knees to you Lord Lord that the victory is there and God we praise you we honour you this morning I want to pray for those that might not know Jesus You might be wondering what this thing called victory is. You might be wondering who God is. And if if you don't know Him this morning, I wanna, we want to pray for you this morning. We want to pray with you this morning. So if that is you, I'm going to give you all an opportunity. You can uh, wave your hand out at me. And if that is you, for me, when I first came to the Lord, there was this a patter in my heart. I could feel, I could feel this burning that I just needed to surrender to Him. And if that is you this morning, I'm going to give you an opportunity right now. If you want to look at me and just give me a little wave, nobody else is watching. 
And if that is you this morning, you can look at me now and wave out. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just lift you up this morning and we thank you for your goodness. And Lord, I just pray, God, that as we, our hearts are stirred, as our faith is moving, God, Lord, that your momentum, your power is behind us. And as we step forward, we know who is there with us. And Jesus, we honor you this morning. In your mighty name we pray. Amen.